Hello, we are going to speak about quality control a building process in a structural pillars unit. Structural are going to be divided by pillars and floors. In this case, today we are going to speak about the structural pillars. First of all, we are going to study the details and analyze the project in the parts we are going to find or we are looking for details specified from our unit, in this case the structural pillars. We have to be very, very careful about the details from connection between pillars and the connection between floor and the pillar. The steel reception is the first unit we are going to do during the pillar process. Steel reception means technical reception in the way that we have to control the characteristics, diameters, position and the name of each pillar that the steel will arrive for our work. Reframing is just the first operation we are going to do in order to begin with the uh, unit. We will put on the steel after the first reframing. Reframing is control, just not only the pillar, if not the surface, like we can see here with the blue gypsum marks, and the position between axes about all the pillars in our structure. It's important too to make marks with the number of each of them because we have to control this during all the building process. Reframing has to be very careful, it's very important, it's a critical point in order that warranty to ask the right position of our pillar. Pillars will be very important in the decision between the future surfaces inside our future flats. In this picture we can observe how the blue gypsum marks are not in coincidence with the head from the pillar of the inferior level. Another, borrow, another wrong thing we can find here is just the oxidation of the sticks and just the length from the connection. The length from the sticks in the in pillar inferior level and the new uh, reinforcement. There is another wrong thing in this picture, more important and more dangerous. It's just the existence of a head pillar inside the floor. If we continue, if we cross our continuity of floor with a piece of pillar, we will make a cross, we will cut the consistency, we will cut the resistance of our floor, just letting to have a piece of wall that includes a hole in our floor. Reinforcement is just the next unit. The stockpile of our steel is at our work and yes, we are going to reinforce and just put on this steel in our pillars. The identification of each pillar is important in order to don't confuse, don't change the steel or the reinforcement for each of them. Reinforcement has to be very careful in the position because we have to connect the steel waiting from the previous level from the next one reinforcement. At this picture we can observe how the steel waiting from the previous level, the steel from connection with the pillar, is not straight position. The reinforcement just makes to us to turn a little the pillar. In this case the workers just turn it so much and this is not let it. It's not let it and it's not okay. In the case when the workers just cut one of the sticks it's necessary just to support it, to change it with another additional stick. Reinforcement has to be controlled by the level, the stripe position of the reinforcement is very important to be controlled in order to warranty the last final position of our reinforcement and the complete covering by concrete in the next unit. Reinforcement has a general appearance like this one in order to show how each pillar is just with the reinforcement, with the steel it has to have. After the reinforcement we will put on the steel forms. The forms will support the pressure of the concrete in the next unit, the concreting. Forms are a pieces by a standard sizes that follow a little channels and just fix with these uh, prompts guarantee the position and the last dimension of our pillar. In some cases the forms has a longitudinal size and a supplement with a quarter little form. In mostly cases the forms are by steel are standard and uh, are with dimensions that help to the project just consider the logical and the standard sizes. 
The steel forms in cases when our pillar has a very extremely high has to be supported by the props. The props in the middle of the pillar with a ring are supporting the pressure of the concrete when we will concrete the unit. That's very exceptional case in, uh, when we have uh, pillars with this length only in cases that the less or the future unit with a wall, resistant wall, will connect each of them. The put on steel forms is important to remember in case of cylinder pillars just protect it with a stride position with the steel forms that will guarantee the pressure because the cylinder form is not resistant enough to, from the pressure of the concrete. When steel form is completely ready and everything is okay, we are uh, ready to begin with the concreting. Concreting begins by the concrete reception. Remember concrete reception, we will uh, arrive by low risk and in some cases we are going to impulse, just probe it just into to the next level. The test of concrete is an obligatory control we have to do and we will be helped by a laboratory. When we will put on the concrete, in this case because our element, the pillar, is a uh, longitudinal and vertical uh, element, it's very important to control the maximum height where we are going to send the concrete. In all cases, we have to consider the vibration to guarantee the concrete arrives to the bottom of our pillar. When we will take out the steel forms, it will be really soon. The concreting is just not ready to be on chairs, but anyway, is resistant enough for to take out the steel forms. Immediately to take out the steel, it's very important to clean it by a special liquid and don't let pieces of concrete in the forms because then in the next use it will be not clean and it will be not too ready to use. Take out the steel forms in some cases are helped by a crane in cases with the forms are so big or with uh, a longitudinal sizes. The concrete treatment is just an important unit because the pillars are with, uh, without the forms so soon we have to begin with the treatment. Treatment is an easy uh, activity that guarantees for us the future not retraction in our concrete. Last verifications just include the characteristics of the pillar. Control the stride, the planity, not half holes, just control the length, the position and just the last characteristics that make our pillar a complete unit and OK ready unit to be continuous with the structure. Last verifications in the case when we have double pillar in a joint by dilatance has to be using a polystyrene or an elastic material that will absorb the possible dilatance between both structures. In some cases, last verifications, including a protection around the pillar with a film plastic that separates the wall, the facade, the wall made by bricks or by uh, blocks with the structure. It's very important to separate both uh, units because there is different materials, there is different answers about the movement. Like a last verification, in cases we have reinforced concrete structure and the beginning of connection with a steel structure, we have to control the possibility of the plant that will connect the steel cover with the pillar by reinforcement concrete. In all cases, we are going to finish pillar unit just beginning the next part of the structure, the floors. Thank you very much.